I've always been overweight. I come from a long line of, well, overweight people. Um, I have lost weight multiple times, significant amounts of weight. I've been successful, but every time, I, for one reason or another, I gained it back. I lost momentum and gained it back. Um, and in 2019, I was turning 39. I'd been thinking about turning 40. And for a while, my sister had very gently suggested that medical studies were showing that weight loss surgery was really the only way to, for people to stay successful with meaningful long-term weight loss. I get emotional about it. The amount of support I've received from friends, family, strangers, people I don't know has been overwhelming. The support at the program has been fantastic. Uh, anytime I've had a question, anyone has always been eager to help. In working with John especially, um, I do, uh, I'm pretty active, so he's kind of helped me tailor my nutrition and I've added calories in places that maybe other people wouldn't do or when I've had questions, he's come up with um, solutions for me uh, that, that's been incredibly helpful as I've gone through this process. And Mary, Mary Ellen is always a friendly face, answers any questions and uh, just the, the support staff, I can't say enough nice things about the staff. One of the things I credit for giving me the strength to say it's time to make changes was uh, I started crossfitting and rucking where I wear a weighted backpack and I, I, I walk long distances and I knew I could be better at that if I lost weight. And um, so that kind of evolved into rucking and I started running. Um, the first time I decided to run a mile after I was about four months post-op, um, I decided to make myself run a mile to see if I could do it and it's turned into this summer I did a couple of sprint triathlons and so I've registered for a half Ironman. Uh, so in, in April of 22, I'm going to run 1.2, swim 1.2 miles, uh, bike 56 miles and run 13.1 miles uh, in Texas, in Galveston, Texas on April 3rd. I'm pretty proud of that, I'm very excited. So my son is nine, we do different things, we hike a lot, actually he gets bored when I make, he won't go on bike rides anymore with me. I made him go on a bike ride and we accidentally rode 10 miles and now he won't get on a bike with me again. <laughs> because he thinks I'm going to make him ride long again. Um, but he loves it. And you know what? One of the best things is he can put his little arms around me, give me the best hug now. That is one of the most rewarding parts. So my nutrition has obviously been vitally important in this journey. Uh, I think I've heard other people say the battle of weight loss is won in the kitchen. Um, and I am very thoughtful about what I eat, but I do eat a balanced diet. I do not feel bad if I have a piece of pizza for dinner or you know have a, a piece of cake at a party. This surgery has allowed me that balance I was never able to find before. I couldn't. Uh, I was more a compulsive eater. I you know I couldn't stay away from the cupcake table or trying to you know sneak more snacks when nobody was looking so somebody didn't see how much I was eating. Now I can have my small portion. Uh, and that's it. Food doesn't control me anymore. But I don't follow any specific fad diet. I just try to eat sensibly. I have now been able to learn to trust my body. I know my hunger cues. I know when I'm full. And I was able to do that because of this surgery. It's a scary process. And even after you're done, it's scary to rework your relationship with food. And for a long time at the beginning, I didn't trust myself. Am I going to eat this? What am I putting in my mouth? And they were there to answer any questions that I have and make me feel like you're doing the right things, follow the program, trust the process. December 1st of 2019, I weighed 350 pounds. This morning I weighed 188 pounds. So that's, I think, 162 pounds.